So I was chatting to someone the other week and we were talking about the different picking techniques that I use and we were comparing them with his as well. And one of the things that really surprised him was just how much I use hybrid picking in my playing. Now, when I use hybrid picking, my technique is pretty much identical irrespective of whether I've got a pick in my hand or not. Let me see if I can demonstrate. Okay, so let me play a line. First, firstly, I'll use a pick. Hopefully you can see I'm hybrid picking that. And now I'll do the same thing just with my fingers. So hopefully you can see just how similar the two approaches are. The only difference is when I haven't got a pick in my hand, I just hold my index finger and thumb together like that to use my index finger as, as the pick, the fingernail. But otherwise, my hybrid picking technique is pretty much identical. So anyway, what I thought to do this week is create a bit of a hybrid picking primer for you. So if you've never done this before or you've never really experimented with it, then maybe this video is a good place to start. So what I've done is I've put a handful of exercises online um, and I've created a PDF as well that you can download. It should see it attached in the description field. And so what, what I thought I'd do is start with some easy ideas, start with some real classic licks as well. So, so play through some that you, um, you'll have bound to have heard before. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so let's look at the first idea then. It's a really simple four note pattern that can sound really quite, quite impressive if you get the speed up. So if I play it up to speed actually it sounds like this. But actually all I'm doing is I'm hybrid picking that first note. And if you've got the tabs open you'll see I've put a little plus above this note as well and that's to indicate that I'm hybrid picking that note. Then I do a downstroke on the G note there, I pull up off into the E, and then an upstroke to play the D. Yeah? And that's the thing I just loop. Yeah, so really, really quite straightforward. And you hear this all over the place. In fact, I'd use I'd probably use exactly this technique if I was playing. You know that, that uh, extended line in Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. Uh, even though he plays with finger style, I'd probably use hybrid picking to play exactly that line. Okay, so the second idea is very similar to the first. If I play it up to speed, it sounds like this. And if you look at it, it's very similar to the first, as I say. So all I'm doing here is I'm Hybrid picking that first note, then a downstroke on the B string, pull off onto the B, and then play the A with an upstroke. So I can now take those two legs and I can connect them together and I can use that to create much more extended lines that I can move around the neck. So it, let's say I take that first idea and instead of just playing it over and over I play the first one and then the second one. Yeah. And that gives me a little eight note idea but instead of Jumping back to that top E, how about I move on to the B string? And you can see how I've created a line that takes me all the way across the neck, yeah. And this is the third example that I've put on the PDF. But hopefully you can see now that with these two ideas I can start to create lines that are are moving me around the neck much more and creating much more interesting lines. Okay, so the next lick is a real cliche, it's a real classic. Uh, you can't really do anything talking about hybrid picking without touching on this, I don't think. But it sounds like this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. And so I'm starting on the G string and bending the A up to the B, so it's the same pitch as the B string. And then all I do is I bend and then I play the B string with my middle finger and the E string with my third finger. Yeah, 
it's a real classic. You hear Hendrix using that, for example. Okay, so another real cliche built on that, that idea is this one. So hopefully you can see it's exactly the same first three notes as with the previous idea. So I'm bending from that A up to the B string, then I'm playing the B and the E, and, but all I'm doing here is adding another two notes. So it's a little five note pattern. Again, you hear this all over the place, but it's a real fun thing to just throw in there as well. So this concept of creating five note groups is something I really love doing instead of four or three. So for example, I could take the first idea that we were working with and I could add an extra note to turn a four note grouping into a five note grouping. And if I do that, I create a line that I use an awful lot actually. It sounds like this. And all I'm doing here is I'm playing that first note by hybrid picking and then I play it with a downstroke, hammer on, pull off, and then play the B, yeah? Which creates something I think sounds really interesting. So hopefully nothing too difficult this week. Um, as I say, this is a technique I use all the time when I'm playing. Don't forget to download the PDF, which has all of the, all of the tabs worked out. Otherwise, we'll chat next time. Goodbye.